Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at functions in Python. Alright, let's get going. First, I'm going to take a minute to review what we did in Corel. So in Corel, we made custom blocks. Why? Well, the first reason was to simplify our code. Another term for this is abstraction, and simple code means readable code. So here I have two codes, both draw squares when I don't have a turn right, but the code on the right is a lot simpler and easier to read. Another reason we use those custom blocks is that it is a lot easier to make changes. So here we're gonna have two codes. They both have the same mistake, which is that, oops, turn right is three turn lefts, not two. But if I use a custom block, I only need to make the change once where I define the custom block. If I don't use custom blocks, I need to make the change to code everywhere where I turn right. And that's gonna be a lot harder. Lastly, we use the custom blocks to turn hard problems into multiple easy problems that were testable. So when we could not figure out how to move, we split the problem up into moves and jumps, and we tested them individually. And when jumping got kind of tricky, we split the jumps up into going up, going across, then going down. In Python, we have the concept of custom blocks, and they're called functions. And functions are hard, but they come with huge rewards for the code writing process. So before I get into the syntax of Python functions, I'd like to go over some terminology first. And those terms are defining functions and calling functions. In Scratch, we have the concept of defining a custom block. The equivalent Python concept is defining a function. And in the Scratch, we have the concept of using that custom block. The equivalent in Python is to call the function. In cooking and baking, we have the concept of defining a recipe. This is the same idea as defining a function in Python. And then in cooking, we have the idea that we're going to use the recipe. And this is the same idea as calling a function in Python. So really, you'll see these fancy words, defining function, calling a function. But you've seen these concepts before in Scratch and cooking. So hopefully, you'll see that you really do understand what the concept is. And it's really just a matter of getting used to the terminology in Python. So here's what the function syntax looks like. All functions will start with a def, then have the function name, parentheses, and a colon. So those four things. After that, there's going to be an indent, which you get by hitting the tab, and then you have the code of the function. And if you want it to be part of the function, it has to be indented. Super important. And then to call the function, or to run the function's code, we just type the function name, and it's important that you have the parentheses. Alright, so I'm going to make a generic, non-customized happy birthday function. So I need a def. I need the function name, which is happy underscore birthday, I need the parentheses, and I need the colon. And inside the function, which is all indented, I'm going to print the words to happy birthday. So then I'm going to write the main part of my code, which is not indented. Right here, I'm calling the function. And right here, I'm calling the function again. So I'm calling the function twice. So then I'll run my code, and you'll see I'm calling the function one and two. And every time I call the function, Python will run the code inside of where I defined the function. All right, so here's where I go over common mistakes. And this is the number one, by far and away, the most common mistake. I click run, it doesn't work, nobody knows why. Can you see the error? You gotta remember, if I have a recipe for a pie, I don't have a pie. I don't have a pie until I use that recipe. And this is what's going on here. I've defined the function, but I've not called a function. And if I don't call the function, I'm never gonna run the code that's inside the function. I need to call the function. Second thing that comes up a lot, is indentation errors. So in this example here, the only line that's part of the function is happy birthday to you. And that's because happy birthday is indented. Since all this other stuff is not indented, it's not part of the function. So when I call this function at line nine here, it's only printing out happy birthday to you and nothing else. Folks will also goof up little things with parentheses and colon. So if I get rid of the colon up here right now, you'll see that little red thing right there. And if I click on it, It'll say invalid syntax, but that gives you a hint that something is wrong. I can put the colon back and get rid of the parentheses instead. Again, I'll have that little red mark. Again, that's a hint that something is wrong and that I should fix it. The most common omission, though, is when people forget to put the parentheses when they call the function. And if I do that, the code won't even run. You see the color changes too. Again, that's another hint that something's not right. When I put the parentheses back, it runs again. All right, here's the part where I go over the solutions to the lab. Pause the video and give it a try first. So in this first one, I want to write a function named song. So how do I do that? Def, function name, the parentheses, and the colon. And then inside the function, the stuff that's inside the function needs to be indented. 
So I've done that. I'm printing out what I want to print inside my function. And when I run that, it's good. All right, for the second one, the second one is asking me to call the function song. So remember, we call the function with function name, parentheses, and that's good. The third one is by far the most common mistake people make. I click run here and nothing happens. Remember, if I have a cookie recipe, I do not have cookies until I make the cookies. If I have a function, I do not have something happening until I call the function. So when I call the function, it runs and then it's good. This last one has two mistakes. When I click the run, you see an error on line two that's right here. So if you look closely, you see I'm missing a colon. When I put that back in, now the function is defined correctly, but it's not quite printing out the right thing. Basically, I want happy birthday to you and you are 102 to be part of the function. Right now, you are 102 is not part of the function because it's not indented. Everything that's part of the function needs to be indented in the same way. So I fix that, it runs, and I'm good. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.